up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i'm gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we're in the brand new 2023 toyota tacoma courtesy of younger toyota in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we are in this one today because of course the toyota tacoma is known for legendary reliability to start you got a couple new changes for the 2023 model year as well you get two years or 25,000 miles of complimentary maintenance so that's going to save you a little bit of money there so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there are several different trim levels for the 2023 tacoma first one being the sr starting at twenty seven thousand two hundred and fifty dollars which is a modest 100 dollars bump from 2022 probably the best i've seen so far sr5 for twenty nine thousand forty dollars trd sport for 34 160 trail special edition for forty thousand four hundred and seventy trd off-road for 35 440 trd pro for 46 685 and then the limited trim level starting at forty thousand and five dollars and so that was all base pricing for each trim of course there's rear wheel drive versus four wheel drive there's bed length options engine options so there are several different ways to go ahead and bump that price up a little bit more if you wanted to but anyway to go along with all of these trim levels there are two different power plants available for the 2023 tacoma first one is going to belong to the sr and sr5 trim levels that one is a 2.7 liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder putting out 159 horsepower at 5200 rpm 180 pound feet of torque coming in at 3,800 RPM. Power center rear wheels or all wheels through a six-speed automatic, giving you MPG numbers coming in at 20 in the city, 23 on the highway, taking regular unleaded fuel. But so then there is that other engine option basically belonging to all of the other trim levels. That one is a 3.5 liter direct injected Atkinson Cycle V6, putting out 278 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 265 pound-feet of torque, coming in at 4,600 RPM. Again, power center rear wheels or all wheels through either a six-speed manual Manual, yes, that is still available. That's nice. Or a six speed automatic, zero to 60 time, approximately 7.6 seconds, with MPG numbers coming in at 19 in the city, 24 on the highway for the rear wheel drive, 17 city, 21 then on the highway for the four wheel drive. But again, taking regular unleaded fuel. Gotta love that. But so now, having got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway. Let's put the acceleration here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2023 Toyota Tacoma here up to speed all right i think we got a straightaway guys let's kick it oh okay all right i'm digging it it's <laughs> surprisingly a heck of a lot quicker than i expected all right they're 60 that's not bad honestly certainly not going to have any issues emerging onto the highway dare i say that was even a little bit of fun so actually not that bad of an acceleration i can vouch for the v6 now i will say i drove the four cylinder last year and that wasn't horrible but it was definitely not even close to as powerful as the V6, obviously. So I am a big fan of the engine that we have in this one here today. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 10.8 inch ventilated front discs in the back 10 inch rear drum brakes. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, it's going to come in at 143 feet, which is definitely not the best. But having said that, it's the exact same number as the Toyota Tundra I just got recently done reviewing so little interesting fact for you there as far as braking feel goes definitely on the softer side of things so I will say that it's certainly not a firm braking feel and that kind of goes along with that number there so it feels like it breaks so I will say that so wouldn't mind it if they firmed up that braking feel or at least put some solid rear discs in the back as opposed to the rear drum brakes I don't know I'm just saying but then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a coil spring double wishbone type front suspension in the back leaf spring rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars gas pressurized shock absorbers but you will actually get a sport tuned suspension if you were to go with that TRD sport and then if you were to go with the TRD off-road you're going to go to off-road suspension with Bilstein shocks and then the TRD pro trim level is going to add to that machine forged upper control arm and a TRD tuned off-road suspension with 2.5 inch Fox internal bypass coilovers and rear remote reservoir shocks as well so I feel like the more up in the trim levels that you go the more suspension components that you get but overall as far as ride quality goes we're driving on a pretty smooth road right now I will say that but having said that ride quality has been incredibly fine so definitely not having any issues there as far as steering feel goes 
I don't know, I would say it kind of leans on the looser side of things if I'm being honest, but having said that, the 10 to 2 grips on the steering wheel, they're M grips, they're BMW M grips, they're so freakishly thick. I love the grips, but wouldn't have minded if they firmed up the steering feel a little bit on the Tacoma, I will say that, so. Anyways, then touching on cabin noise, we're going 55 miles per hour right now. You guys could be the judge of that. There's a whole lot of exterior wind noise or road noise coming into the cabin, but I will say when you really hit the engine, you do get a good bit of that engine noise, but that personally doesn't bother me. I actually like engine noise in vehicles and the rest of it is really not existent when it comes to wind noise and uh, road noise. So I personally don't have any issues here. Then touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. If you've driven a truck before, it pretty much looks like that. So I'll just put it that way. But anyways, that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 Toyota Tacoma. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2023 Toyota Tacoma finished in silver metallic in this 27 degree day. Uh, yeah, it's cold, but anyways, let's take a look at the VIN here first so I can tell you guys where this one is made. The VIN number starts with a three, so therefore this one is assembled in Mexico. Interesting. All right, so let me first touch on the changes for 2023. There is a chrome package available now led by 18-inch chrome alloy wheels. There is a solar octane color available for the TRD Pro, and now there is smart key operation added to the V6 SR5 model, so that pretty much rounds out the uh, changes for the 2023 model year but as always let's go ahead and start up front on this one front grille of course is going to differ amongst the trim levels a little bit different look projector beam halogen headlights is going to come standard but led reflector headlights are going to be available like we have today and for anyone who is curious we actually have the trd sport trim level so that is what you guys are looking at daytime running lights of course do come standard on all trim levels actually automatic feature as well and automatic high beams. Even on the SR trim level, you get automatic high beams. Essentially what that is, so when you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams. And when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically then bump it back up to high beams. So very convenient feature there. SR5 trim level and up is gonna get fog lights down below. Gotta love those LED fog lights. You guys are looking at, again, TRD Pro front skid plates, obviously for the TRD Pro trim level, as expected there. But one of my favorite features on the exterior at least in the front here you get that hood scoop with the trd sport trim level and up so i absolutely love that it looks so dang good up there it's kind of what the tacoma is known for now so huge fan of that look and honestly front end it looks dang good to me but anyways that about rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side all right and so we're now making our way to the side of the tacoma here access and double cab configurations are available we do have the double cab i actually had the access cab last year so i'll leave a link to that review at the end of this one if you wanted to go ahead and take a look at that so curious to test out the rear leg room in that double cab there later in the video body colored power adjustable side mirrors do come standard they will also be heated coming standard Standard as well which is very nice on 27 degree days here in Western Maryland integrated turn signals then coming with the TRD off-road trim level and up then take a look down at the wheel configuration they will all differ substantially depending upon the trim level that you go with you're gonna get steel wheels with the SR dark gray alloys for the SR5 17 inch machine finished alloys for the TRD Sport so what you guys are looking at of course 16 inch machine finished alloys for the TRD off-road 16 inch black alloys for the TRD Pro and 18 inch polished alloys then for the limited so like that trd 4x4 sport badging on the uh, tailgate in the back there tacoma lettering found on the front doors that's going to be found on the sr5 trim level and up the sr is not going to get that and again i had the sr last year actually wasn't a bad truck for the for the money honestly but definitely a good looking side profile though let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so but now since we are around to the back of this one tacoma lettering spelled out on the tailgate itself gotta love that you got the v6 badging if your uh, Tacoma is equipped with the V6, that is. Got the Toyota lettering on the liftgate handle itself, of course. Tow hitch is going to be available. We do have that. And by the way, max towing capacity for all trim levels is going to come in at 6,400 pounds. So got that there for you. And just below it all kind of tucked away on the passenger side, you will find a single exhaust outlet. So having said that, I think I remember this sounding really, really good last year. So, oh, and LED taillights. I almost forgot to mention that. But I think I remember the exhaust sounding really good last year. So I do believe you guys know what we have to do next then. As always, here is that exhaust clip.
Right, so but now since we are around to the back of the Tacoma, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a uh, manual tailgate, of course, but it is an easy lower tailgate, so it's not going to come flying down at you. So I do like that. But once opened up, five or six foot beds are going to be available back there. So there's a deck rail system with four adjustable tie down cleats. There's four fixed tie down points. There's a fiber reinforced sheet molded composite bed. There's some storage compartments. That's pretty cool. There's some bed lighting back there as well. And there is a tonneau cover available which we do happen to have with us here today and uh, 120 volt power outlet back there as well so big fan of seeing that so pretty much everything you could possibly want back there but now making our way up to the rear legroom for the access cab that comes in at 24.6 inches so more or less unusable for humans even kids but you could probably put some tools back there just about everything else just not people double cab comes in at 32.6 inches for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there of course typical truck fashion there is flip up bench seating there's a little bit of under seat storage back there as well which is pretty cool there is a rear power window for the sr5 trim level and up but you do get a manual rear window for the sr so the power rear window button is going to be kind of located just in front of the shifter so i'm definitely a big fan of that i always like the power rear windows and trucks then make your way up to the front seats manually adjustable cloth seating coming with the sr 10-way power driver seat for the sr5 trim level and up you get leather seating for the trd pro and limited heated front seats for the trd pro and limited as well as far as seat comfort goes it's fine it's nothing crazy um definitely not the most comfortable seats but they're not bad i mean i would be perfectly fine with them so yeah they'll get the job done Let's take a look at the steering wheel, one of my favorite parts about the Tacoma Tilt and telescoping. I should say one of the, my favorite and one of the worst because the telescoping portion of the steering wheel really doesn't telescope out that far. So if you're a taller adult and you have to put your seat back a little bit further because you have longer legs, you would want the steering wheel to telescope out a little bit farther than it actually does. So probably one of the steering wheels that telescopes out the least in the past 700 plus vehicles that I've reviewed. Wrapped in urethane for the SR though and leather wrapped for the SR5 trim level and up. 10 and 2 grips are massive. I love that part of it. But then make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. Probably the most basic key in existence, which means when you lose it in Ocean City, Maryland, it's not going to cost much to replace. So I like that part of it. But lock and unlock. You got the Toyota logo on the one side. And it is a push button start for the TRD Pro and limited available for other trim levels. So I'm just going to put my phone to the brake here and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. And so once started up, tachometer is all the way to your left. Speedometer is on your right. And there is a digital portion of the gauges front and center to control what is on that digital portion of the gauges. There are steering wheel mounted controls found on the right side of the steering wheel. Gives you things like your tire pressure for each individual tire. There's some safety information. It tells you when you need maintenance on the vehicle, outside temperature and uh, how many miles you have left until you hit empty and so on. So pretty much everything you possibly want on the digital portion of the gauge just then then make our way to overall interior quality there is an overhead sunglass holder so i like that power moonroof is going to come in the trd pro and limited trim so we don't have that one today leather trim shifter for the trd sport trim level and up auto dimming rear view mirror with homelet controls for the trd pro and limited trims dual zone climate control for the sr5 trim level and up so you get the manual climate control for the sr wireless phone charger for the trd sport trim level and up and we actually do have that it's located just in front of the couple holders up here so i'm a big fan of that speaking of cup holders just behind that again leather wrap shift boot and shift knob then you got your cup holders and then within the center armrest there is a couple phone charging ports in there and actually a decent amount of storage so that is pretty cool i like the tacoma lettering found on the passenger side glove box but all in all, definitely on the basic side when it comes to interior quality, but this is a truck, so really, who really cares about luxurious interiors when this is just meant to get the job done, essentially. So personally, I wouldn't have any issues with it. So then making our way to the infotainment screen, seven inch color touchscreen display is gonna come on the SR, eight inch color touchscreen display then coming on the SR5 trim level and up. Get Bluetooth and audio streaming, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation systems gonna come on the TRD Pro and limited trim levels. You can check out your driving statistics like miles per gallon at any given time how many miles you have left until you hit empty as well and of course your radio information so six speakers is actually going to come standard on every single trim level across the board but if you were to go with the trd pro or limited trims you're going to get a six speaker jbl sound system there's still six speakers but by jbl with a subwoofer and an external amp so we don't have the JBL, so we do just have the standard six speaker. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. Actually not horrible. 
It, like it's above average for a six speaker sound system. It's not gonna be the best, but really six speakers is fine for the size of what the Tacoma is. JBL is obviously gonna be a little bit better, but it's not a horrible sound system for the Tacoma. It's pretty just above average. But anyways, last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put this thing in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming extended across the board. Limited trim level then is going to give you that panoramic view monitor, giving you that bird's eye view, which is always it's going to lead us into safety. And so front side side current airbags do come standard, but driver and passenger knee airbags up front as well. Don't always find that. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Rear child door locks, high pressure monitoring system but also coming standard pre-collision system with pedestrian detection dynamic radar cruise control lane departure alert and then the trd pro and limited trims are going to add a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert as well so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here at the tacoma great reliability just take a look at a consumer reports magazine that'll vouch for that i love that v6 is great I drove the four cylinder last year, but the V6 is great in the Tacoma. I will say that plenty of an acceleration in this thing. Very off-road capable too, especially dependent upon the trim level that you go with. So this thing could definitely hold its own probably on Aztec Island in Maryland with the wild horses in the sand. So I would definitely be willing to try that out. And the fact that a six speed manual is still available on a truck these days, that's pretty impressive as well if you wanted that. As far as room for improvement goes, braking's definitely not the best. 60 to zero and 143 feet is among the worst, actually, but it's the same as the Tundra for what it's worth there. And the interior is pretty darn basic as well. Not that that personally would bother me because if you're buying a truck like the Tacoma, you want to get this to get stuff done. So you can haul stuff around and maybe clean up some trees in the backyard, throw it in the back and take it to the dump, stuff like that. So I don't mind the interior quality for that reason. That's not what this truck was built for. But anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.